This map is Brofer Initiative. This is part of the Discord Live League. Not a real, not an official league on Advance Wars by Web, but it's something we do for fun. So we play with five plus two minute games and five minute plus two minute increment games. And I picked, this is tier 3, I picked Rachel because Rachel is annoying to play against in live simply because of the... Let me change direction so we're facing the opposite direction. Because you need to spend time calculating where, to, where her superpower will land. And if you're spending time doing that, you're not spending time with the rest of your turns, which is not ideal. So that's why I went Rachel. My opponent picked Kindle. Okay. I choose to use the lander to send my infantry to this airport first because there's a capture chain over here. And as for these two cities, I just plan to chain with this infantry. Like one, two, it's a nice chain. My opponent went for the port first, to, this is also a capture chain, but I prefer the airport since battlecopters can be relevant, and I will be reaching this port anyway. There's also a second reason why I prefer going for the airport, but I will explain when that turn arrives. Okay. So apparently my opponent went for the corner property first before going here, whereas I went for the forward property and then the corner property. I prefer to go for the forward one. They're both one turn away from the base, but at least if I capture this first, I can immediately start sending him towards the center to capture more properties. So, the reason why I prefer to send the the second reason why I prefer to send the airport first is I can drop off two infantry with my second drop off and I can send this one up to capture this property whereas I still get the capture chain from this infantry. And I built my first tank because as player 2, you typically get the tank first. I send my tank forward, I send my infantry towards the center to start capturing properties. And I built a second tank. Maybe it's better to build it on this tank where I can reach the front lines faster. It probably is. But then again, it is live and I'm not the strategy person. So I just went with the tank chain. Alright, I decide to skip this property to go for this one and have this penguin over here capture chain onto this one. And I send my tank in the center to control it. Just to control the center. Now, if I had built the tank here, maybe I could send this penguin over in this forest instead and it will still be able to capture this next turn. And my second tank would be here, which is more easily able to support my first tank. So, maybe there it, it is a... It would be better if I built a second tank on this base. And for whatever reason, maybe I was playing too quickly, I dropped my infantry on the right side instead of up here. So, uh... Not the best location. Now Kindle has two of her tanks in the center, but not as but not in as in an as important area as my tanks. And then there's the battlecopter, which means my tanks can no longer stay here. So, I considered moving forward to attack this infantry, but if you look at the mountains, this area is very trappable and I don't I don't like the idea of getting trapped like that. And 
I built a battle copter of my own. And for whatever reason, I chose to go capture this property anyway, despite not having any response to a battle copter. So that was a mistake on my end. And as a result, uh, my infantry got hit. Alright. I continue capturing. I try to go for this one. I know it's a little too close to my opponent's army, but I can always be hopeful. And I built an anti-air because you need anti-air to deal with battlecopters. I don't find battlecopters sufficient for, for air defense. My opponent chose not to interrupt my capture, which makes me very happy because I will be up in income. I did lose one penguin for nothing though, so that is a little sad, but I am up in one property right now. I continue centralizing my forces, and now I'm thinking of how can I break through. I considered breaking through last turn, but my forces were not there yet. Okay. It's a pretty nice wall, and now I think, okay, is there a way I can break this? I mean, an anti-air with a comm tower could possibly break any infantry at any point, allowing me to give two hits on the units nearby. So I decide to go for it. After some thinking, I decide the weakness is on this side because this is at the very edge of a rubber band. If I attack the center, he can reinforce from both sides. But if I attack this elastic band from one side, I should mostly be fine. And I just attack. Begin capturing the comm tower just to be annoying. And just pick off a few infantry, because wh why not? It reduces their unit count and they will probably be a little distracted hitting my infantry rather than my vehicles. And I bring my second battlecopter in. My first battlecopter is completely safe, there's no way they can break this infantry on a comm tower. And I built a medium tank because I noticed my right side is becoming very weak. And a medium tank slows down the game quite a lot. Like, building medium tanks tend to slow down the game, and that's exactly what I want over here. Kindle doesn't scale as well as Rachel. And if I can slow down the game for a covering fire, I can eventually overpower Kindle by, attri by attritioning her. Again, this is live. So I am just going off to the first thing that comes to my mind. Kino builds a medium tank of her own. Okay, that's fair. You need some response to it. And I decide to... Uh... Well, first off, kill that battlecopter. That's like a given. Then I go in, attack, and... Okay, perhaps I could have used a 2 HP tank to kill off this tank, and then kill off the anti-air with my tanks. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Now, I joined Cap just to make it impossible for Kindle to stop me from taking the comm tower. The tank is not gonna reach my artillery, so it's fine not having any cover over here for now. I shoot that just to slow down the, any captures, and at this point, I should be aware that Kindle definitely got her power after all the damage I done, but for whatever reason I chose to drop off on a property? Maybe dropping it off here would have been better where Kindle would, Kindle's power would not damage it, and it's still close enough to do stuff like interrupt this capture. Yes, medium tank, shooting at infantry, I know, probably a not, not a good thing. But I'm winning, and that's what matters. Built a battlecopter because no anti-air, I killed off the anti-air in the center. 
and the anti-air on the side is irrelevant right now. Alright, as expected, um, I'm not quite sure why Kindle attack from the shoal instead of this lab. I'm pretty sure labs count since labs are a capturable property, therefore Kindle does get the bonus on it. So I'm just not quite sure the decision to shoot to attack from the shoal instead. Still, I interrupted. Oh, I sacrificed an infantry to weaken this, so I have time to ignore it for now. I captured my, the comp tower, so I'm happy. And now, uh, because there's no anti-air on the right side, I just go all in with the battle copters. I mean, why not? Sit on my HQ just to make sure that there's no HQ cap possibility whatsoever. And I built more battle copters because one anti air isn't going to stop four battle copters. It's well worth the sacrifice. So Kindle does a full retreat on the right side. I'm happy about that. And now I'm nearing my superpower. So I think these units are pretty bunched up together. Maybe I can try to use my superpower. And I have been using the move planner since I have extra time on my turns. And I calculated that by removing this infantry here, I am redirecting an infantry missile. So I sack the anti-air. Don't quite get the power, so I send the tank. Now I got the power. And now I give the covering fire. And... That must be devastating. Because I killed this infantry, the infantry missile, I believe, hit somewhere over on this tile. Instead. And that allowed... Me to weaken off... It also redirected... Actually, I don't remember what it redirected, I just know that I needed to kill that 3 HP infantry somewhere. And now I send infantry back here because... Start retaking my properties. Oh. Uh, all my vehicles are on the right side, so I don't really have anything defending the left. At this point. So I'm just creating an infantry wall to slow down any offenses on my side. Not that it will gain anything, but I also don't want to give up my space here. Okay. But at this point the game is over. Ah, uh, there's little that can be done against my medium tank. And I still have air superiority. Any income advantage, and if you are not winning early as Kindle, you will probably get outscaled later on. Right. So that's the first game. 